Today's video is sponsored by Ariat. When it comes to wearing jeans and cowboy boots, some people think you should always stack your jeans, and some people say you should just wear your regular size. So today, we're gonna discuss the age-old question of to stack or not to stack. My name is Jeremiah Craig, and if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment down below. I've tried dozens of jeans and dozens of cowboy boots, and I've developed a specific rule for myself when it comes to whether or not I should stack jeans with specific boots. And it all comes down to what type of jeans they are and what kind of boots that I'm wearing. So this is just my specific rules that I've developed for me. If you have other rules out there, please put them down in the comments. Everybody has their own way of doing things, but if you don't know what to do, I'm gonna share my thoughts here in this video to give you a good starting point. First, let's talk about what stacking jeans is. Stacking jeans is wearing a longer inseam, so the pant bunches and sort of stacks upon itself at the bottom around the top of the boot. And this is done historically so the jean doesn't ride up while you're in the saddle, kneeling down, or just sitting in general. This is why when you wear cowboy boots and stack your jeans, it can look classic because people have been doing it for decades, maybe even a century or more, but it doesn't always work with some of these more modern styles. So I have three different kinds of jeans today that I will be trying on side by side with my true size, which is a 32, 34, and my stack size, which is a 32, 36. All of them will be Ariat Jeans since they are the sponsor today and a huge shout out to them for supporting this channel. And for reference, before I show the side by side, my height is six foot one and my weight is around 175 pounds. I'm also gonna try on the jeans with four different types of boots. The Ariat Heritage Roper will be the short heel and the short shaft example. This Nakona shrunken shoulder boot will be a more underslung heel example. This Anderson Bean ostrich boot will be a square toe example with a short heel. And this Hondo 3416 will be a spur shelf example here with a square toe as well. This is a more buckaroo style boot. All right, let's start with a relaxed fit jean featuring all four of those boots. Side by side, a 32-34, the regular size, and a 32-36, the stack size. And we can see it here first with the roper, with that short heel. And with this being a relaxed fit jean, you really can't tell much of the difference here. Uh, maybe a little bit as I turn around and you can sort of see how much lower those jeans come around the heel. It's really not that much of a difference with this boot at all. With these being relaxed fit, I think uh, there's really not much of a difference, at least with the roper. But when we look at it with the Nakona, you can kind of see that the stack size comes over the heel quite a bit. And that's not something that I really like. When it comes over the heel like this, it's not really stacking. It's just making it so you're gonna be walking on your jeans all day and they're gonna to get tore up real fast. So with relaxed fit, generally I like to choose my regular size, a 32, 34, and this is a good example of why. Let's look at it with a square toe though that has a more stockman heel. Square toes, at least for me, I like to wear a jean that really gets sort of wide and stacks at the bottom because that wide toe can look goofy on my skinny frame. So I like to stack and here I'm not really seeing much of a difference, but I do like the way that the relaxed fit stacks with this square toe. All right, here's an example with that Hondo 3416. It has a spur shelf there, which is what I'm pointing at here. And that allows the jeans to stop and stack. So we're gonna be running into this a lot in this video. And usually with that spur shelf, I like to stack jeans. 
All right, let's keep things going with a straight leg example. This is an Ariat M1. And one of the problems that I'll have when I try to stack straight leg jeans with shorter boots, say around 10 to 11 inches tall, whether it's a round toe or a square toe, is you get a bucket effect. And you can see that here where the stack size is just sagging into the top of the boot and it doesn't look good at all. You get that a little bit with the regular size, but it's not as bad as the stack size. That's why I like to wear regular size straight leg jeans with ropers. Here we have like an average cowboy boot example with an underslung heel on this Nakona boot. And I feel like you could go either way when you're thinking about a straight leg jeans and a boot like this with a underslung heel and no spur shelf. It works really well uh, either way, like whatever your preference is. I've done both with this pair of boots and you can see why. All right, here's the square toe with the short heel example. And here I like to stack my jeans with a square toe for the same reason that I explained before. Uh, that square toe is really wide and sometimes depending on the boot, it can get wider than what my ankles are. So I like to make the bottom of my jeans a little bit wider with that stack so it doesn't look as goofy. It's not bad though. All right, here's the straight leg jean example with a boot with a spur shelf. And you can see again that the jeans are stopping at that spur shelf when you try to stack it. And it works really, really well. This is a very traditional look. Uh, it's not happening with the regular size. They're not even reaching that spur shelf. I really like to stack jeans when my boots have a spur shelf. I think it looks great. It's so traditional and classic. All right, let's keep things going with a boot cut example. This is an Ariat M7 jean, and oftentimes I will just go with my regular size with a boot cut jean all the time. And you can see why here, because these flare out. This is a super flared example, but they cover the heel, and I really don't like walking on jeans all day, and I like to show off the heel because sometimes heels can be really cool. With the more traditional cowboy boot example and that underslung heel, you can see exactly what I mean. When I try to stack boot cut jeans, it doesn't stack at all, right? You're supposed to be getting that sort of leveling, that stacking upon itself, but really, it just slides over that heel and I'm gonna end up walking on this jean all day long on that stack size. The regular size is long enough when it comes to boot cut in my experience, and that's why I try to stay away from stacking boot cuts. Here's another example with a square toe and a shorter heel. And these boot cuts are even starting to slide over the heel on this. I think for the most part, you guys are gonna be fine with a regular size boot cut jean unless you wanna destroy your pants. <laughs> because those pants are gonna get destroyed real fast when you try to stack boot cuts. Unless you have a spur shelf. This is the advantage of a spur shelf is that you can stack boot cut jeans like this because it gives them a place to stop. Now on this Hondo, it has a pretty significant spur shelf. It's like a half an inch out there, if not more. And it's stopping these boot cut jeans and allowing them to stack. So you could get away with it in some situations. So after looking at those three area jeans examples, maybe you can understand why I say it depends when you're thinking about to stack or not to stack. Here are my takeaways. When it comes to ropers and short boots that are about 10 to 11 inches tall, I really don't like to stack straight leg jeans in particular because you get that bucket effect and it really looks sloppy when you stack like that. So usually I will not attempt to stack jeans with ropers and shorter square toe boots. Like I said, 10 to 11 inches tall, but there's different cuts of jeans. So it's not a hard and fast rule. The other takeaway that I have is spur shelves. If your boot has a spur shelf or you're looking at boots with spur shelves, you can pretty much stack whatever kind of jean you want. 
almost all the cuts stop on that spur shelf so you will never have to worry about walking on your jeans. Also with traditional cowboy boots like this one here with an underslung walking heel or even a two inch heel depending on what you like, you can pretty much go either way with straight leg jeans. You can decide to stack or you can wear your regular size. So it really depends on what kind of boots you like and how you like your jeans to look while you're wearing those boots. And my final takeaway of it depends of to stack or not to stack is with wide square toes and block heels like this Anderson Bean, for example. I like to stack in general when I wear those kinds of boots because like I said, that wide square toe can look goofy on my skinny frame. So I like to try to make the bottom of my leg as wide as possible with that stack and then it doesn't look as goofy and I can make the square toe work for me. But these are just general rules that I've made for myself when I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna stack jeans that day. I wanna know your rules down in the comments. Please share your experience with everybody coming through wondering what size jeans they need for their cowboy boots. Thank you so much for watching today. I got lots of different jeans videos which you can catch in the description or at the end screen and I'm always reviewing cowboy boots as well. So please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. To stack or not to stack Depends on what boots and jeans you have It might look good or it might look whack To stack or not to stack yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video of a different pair of Ariat M7s up here? Or check out all of the jeans videos in this playlist. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.